Hi, it's Twyla Duncan, and I'm here with the wonderful Jean Wu, who has created this incredible product. It's a water bottle that's collapsible, fashionable, and reusable, mm -hmm. and it's called the Q. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about it, Jean. Yeah, sure. Um, I'm Jean. I'm the inventor of the Q bottle. They're collapsible, reusable bottles made of foot grade silicone. They're 100% plastic free and dishwasher safe. So it's easy to clean. They're lightweight and leak proof and you can use it for cold or hot drinks. So they're, they're extremely convenient and great for travel, outdoors, activities and um, just a lot of occasions. What inspired mm -hmm. you to create this? Yeah, so I personally had a huge problem with bottles because they're bulky and heavy and chunky and I don't want to bring them when I go traveling or go outside um, when I'm active. But I don't want to buy you know, disposable bottles that are not good for the environment. So I want to make something that is easy for people to bring, it's lightweight and it's beautiful, it's stylish, so I can take them with me whenever I go. Are they expensive? They're not, actually. They're extremely affordable. So this is the 20 ounce bottle. We, re uh, we retail them for $24.95. So it's under $25 and we have a smaller size that's 12 ounce and it goes for $19.95. So they come with a standard lid, yes. which is? Um, yeah, it's a low profile, slick design, flat top, stainless steel lid. Um, and we also have a add-on option with a a um, loop to lid for people to hook on to carabiner and to things to attach. So two options mm. for the lids. What was your background? Um, I didn't have any business or design background. I was in entertainment industry actually. I studied TV and film. Um, but I just had this idea and um, I just I was working on it and I got the products and I really love it and now I'm just fully um, you know, dedicated to, to this product. And how did you fund the development of this product? We actually did a Kickstarter campaign. So we did crowdfunding. Yeah. And how, how many years ago was that that you created? That was the year 2016. So that's about two and a half years ago. So, and how, how many years did it take you to develop it, to get it where you wanted a, to sell a it? Yeah, yeah. One year. Yeah, one. So you've been selling about a, a year and a half, two years? Uh, yes, yeah, a little too. That is amazing. Tell me some of the stores that carry this product. Um, yes, we are um, being carried right now in uh, many stores across the country. Um, well, you know, a few of the most exciting stores are the New York MoMA uh, Museum Store, San Francisco MoMA, Smithsonian, um, and you know, Paragon Sports. Um, and we're expanding and getting to more. What was your capitalization for your GoFundMe? Oh, uh, so yeah, so we had a 30-day campaign on Kickstarter, and we ended up raising $600,000. And how much of that did it cost to develop this product? Um, so it's about, so about 30% went into the development of that, and then another 20 for um, operations, and also um, another like 20% for logistics and um, everything behind it and marketing. That is yeah. amazing. And you are here at a trade show right now. Uh, yes. Has it been productive for you? Yes, extremely. Do you have an online presence that people yes. can order the... Absolutely, we are available on our own website. It's www.qbottle.com. Q. Q U E bottle dot com. com. Yes, that is amazing. It's fabulous, actually. Thank you. Has what? What is the biggest challenge that you had in creating this product? Uh, creating, I guess, is getting to the right product because it's challenging. It's never made before. It's a completely new concept. So, working with manufacturers, getting it, you know, right. Um, it's the most challenging. At the beginning, you know, they all say no. They all say it's not possible to make this. And also, uh, what com comes after that is the um, defect rates because it was so hard to make at the beginning and th there was a lot of defects. So I guess just the manufacturing and logistic part of it is the, the most challenging. Yeah. Are you over 30 years old? I'm 30 years old right now. 32. 30. Three zero. Yeah. Quite amazing. Um, mm -hmm. 
do you own 100% of the company yourself? Um, 50%, 50% was my husband's, who's also my business partner. And did he have any background in manufacturing or design? No, he was a computer engineer. What has been the most satisfying part of developing this product? Um, I think it's making, finally making your idea happen, the realization of it, and also making some products that people love um, and that pe you know, people have great responses to is just really self-rewarding. Have you thought of doing a baby bottle? Um, not quite yet. So, yeah, but we might later. <laughs> Well, not everything has to be sterilized, but you these are dishwasher safe, right? Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. You can boil them, though. Yes, you can. You we can actually, boil them. Mm -hmm. We actually recommend boiling them for 50 minutes, uh, you know, you know, every, you know, periodically, so to have um, a complete deep clean to your bottle. Yes, yeah, these are silicone, so they can take up to 500 degrees. Quite amazing. Can you tell me three things that you would, three bits of advice that you would give to an entrepreneur? Um, sure, I think, well, it, this sounds old, but really stick through, you know, perseverance and, um, you know, passion is important. You gotta, you know, just stick with your plan and really just, um, you know, keep going. And another thing is being open-minded, listen to other people's suggestions and devices and getting, people, getting help from other people. Another thing is just, you know, really plan it well and budget well, see where you at, have a concrete plan instead of just going, you know, you know, as, as is, it's really important. So planning, yeah. Well, thank you and congratulations. Thank you. It's a fabulous product. Thank you so much.